that God, that God, and his enemies, that God, that God, that God, and his enemies. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, and the members of Parliament and all, and our and the governor who are here, men of God, and the family of His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, both the biological and the office. We salute you. We thank you for allowing yourself to come here to pray. Every time you see trouble, you are not supposed to talk to each other. You are not supposed to fight each other. You are supposed to come and tell God. He's the one who knows the answer. For Christ is the answer. And when we come onto this altar, I spoke to many when they were coming. I told them, you don't bring bags here. You don't bring anything. Only thing you come with is yourself. Because on an altar, you come to offer yourself as a living sacrifice. That is why you saw everyone, even the deputy president, myself, we don't have shoes because this is a holy place. And this is a national order that speaks for this nation. It speaks for our presidency, from the president to the deputy president, to the cabinet, to the, uh, the national assembly, senate, county assembly, and every leader that is in this nation is prayed here. And that's why when we come and rise up on this altar, we take it, it's a very solemn place. It is a sacred place. We come here to pray so that God can rise. And enemies of Kenyans be? Enemies of your family be? Enemies of, your, of development be? Because we need a country that is peaceful. So we come so that even enemies that bring confusion, that bring sabotage, that bring betrayal, they can be. And we can stand as a people speaking in one language and praising God as one people united in love of God because God is love. And we thank God for this day. Because I know something has happened in the heavens. When you see things happening on earth, they are orchestrated in the place of the invisible. Say the invisible. The invisible. Once the spirit is disturbed up there, there will be turbulent in here. When the peace of God is established up there, the peace of God is established here. So what you don't see is bigger than what you see. And therefore today you came to make intercessions, you came to petition God concerning our nation, concerning your family, concerning anything that concerns you. Do you know anyone who is sick should believe God now? And your healing will be complete because God has arisen and God is fighting for you. So thank you very much for having come, and I believe that uh, we can believe God to come there, storms. And they will become, you, this place you have been told by the Father of Faith, every time there is trouble, we come here. And every time God turns the trouble back. Many of you may not know that God desires that you call upon him. Say, call upon him. Call upon him. It is not that God does not know what you want to call him about. But he does not want to give you something and then you say he's the one who gave you like Adam was given a wife and all things that were in Eden. And after that, he said, Niwewe ulifanya. So whatever you need... We come and tell God, arise. God does not need us to tell him to arise. He already has a reason. Say he has a reason. Yes. But he would like you to ask him to arise on that issue that you know you want him to arise on your behalf. And because you did it, 
I believe you should celebrate God because he has a reason. As the author steward and the keeper, I ask this author to speak on your behalf. Amen. This author is not just another author. There is no other author, even in Africa. This one speaks for Kenya and speaks for Africa, and it will speak even for the world. And so I command the author to speak on your behalf. I command the speak uh, the uh, the author to release your healing because you should be healed. Healing is the bread of the children of God. You should be happy. You should be peaceful. You should prosper. You should thrive. You should prevail. You should have dominion. You only need understanding that there is a God of the altar. And once you respect him, the altar starts to speak. So let God Arise. and his enemies Arise. 